Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! This is Mom Saibel Explains. This video is all about division of decimals by one tenth, one hundredth, and one thousandth. We have an example here. Mr. Pio Quinto has four and eight tenths meters of wood. He wants to cut it into pieces that are one tenth meters in length. How many pieces of one tenth meters in length can he cut from his four and eight tenths meter wood? Our given are the following: four and eight tenths meters and one tenth meter. Our division sentence is four and eight tenths meters divided by one tenth meter is equal to blank. Four and eight tenths meters is our dividend. One tenth meter is the divisor, and the answer is the quotient. Before I will teach you the shortcut, we have to know first the long cut so that we know the reason behind our shortcut. In dividing decimals, we have to change our divisor into a whole number. For this case, our divisor is one tenth meter. We have to move one place to the right to make this a whole number, and one. Whatever we did in our divisor, we have to do that also in our dividend, and that's 1. Our division sentence now is 48 divided by 1, and that gives us 48. And that's it. So what if we will divide 4 and 8 tenths by 100? How many decimal places do we need to move in order for our divisor to be a whole number? It's going to be 1 and 2. That's 2 decimal places. We also need to do that to our dividend, it's going to be 1 and 2, and fill this up with 0. Our new division sentence now is 480 divided by 1, and that gives us 480, and that's it. What if we will divide 4 and 8 tenths by 1,000? How many decimal places do we need to move to make our device a whole number? That's 1, 2, and 3. We will do that also to our dividend, that's 1, 2, and 3, and filled out this with zeros. Our new division sentence is 4,800 divided by 1, and that gives us 4,800, and that's it. We have some exercises here. For the first one, we have 6 and 95 hundredths divided by 1 tenth. We will just move one place for both dividend and divisor, and we get 69 and 5 tenths. For the second question, we have 6 and 95 hundredths divided by 100. We will just move two decimal places for both divisor and dividend and we will get 695. For the third one, we have 6 and 95 hundredths divided by 1000. And we will move three decimal places for both dividend and divisor and we'll write 0 on the empty space here. And we will get 6,950 as our final answer. Don't forget to hit the like button if you think this is helpful. Till next time!